Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. So, if you're interested in playing along with a singer and you're not sure how to go about it, I want to give you five quick tips on how to make the most of it and keep the band and the singer, most importantly, happy with what you're doing. So, tip number one is find space. The easiest way to do this is to watch and listen to the singer and when they take a break, when they're not singing, play something in that gap. You don't want to overimpose and overstay your welcome and try and make it about you. It's just about being an accompanist. So you just want to kind of play along with and be part of the group. As much as possible, listen to the stuff that's going on around you and play stuff that kind of just slides in there without being too abrasive. So keep finding that space as much as possible. Number two, keep it simple. And there's two reasons for this. Again, you don't want to draw attention to yourself, but also in a, in a selfish way, you want to keep your best stuff for when you get a solo. Because if you use all your great licks when you're just playing along with the singer, then what are you going to have when the solo gets to you? You're going to have nowhere to go, no kind of dynamic range, and you will have used up all of your fancy stuff. So keep it repetitive um, so that you're not drawing too much attention to yourself. Just kind of simple rhythmic things that aren't too abrasive, aren't too obvious. Okay, number three try to mirror the melody of the song. Now you don't have to play the exact thing the singer's playing and, and that would be kind of too much if you did and it wouldn't always work, but you wanna play something that's fitting if possible. So if you've got time to prepare beforehand or if you've got a good ear and you're able to play off what the singer's doing, then kind of echoing or doing slight variations of what the singer is playing can really, really help make your playing seem appropriate and fit the song and the singer that you're playing along with. Number four, if you do want to play beneath or behind the singer, make sure that you are beneath and behind, not on top of the singer. So the way to do this is first off, make sure you're not playing things too high. Um, especially if it's a female vocal, you don't want the notes to, to kind of clash too much. And the harmonica tends to be quite high to begin with. So you could use a low tuned harmonica or you could just play something down the bottom end of the harmonica just so that it isn't too kind of bright and, and pushing out and in people's faces. You want it kind of part of the rhythm. And with that in mind, you want to also play quite quietly and you want to make sure that you're definitely more quiet than the, the vocals. And one way of trying to again, avoid the attention being drawn to you, is to play longer notes. So instead of a kind of a, you know, a busy, loud, kind of fancy thing, with no kind of taste to it, you might just play and also play it quietly. a little silly little dance there um <laughs> feeling the groove um so you can change your volume obviously by turning your microphone down but it's actually really good practice just to practice playing quietly yourself try and make it really as low as possible and that can really help and finally number five and this is the most important thing of all and the thing that will give you the most respect in a band or jam setting is ask for guidance. Ask people their preference. Talk to the singer and ask them what they'd like from you. They're unlikely to give you any kind of um, really strict and detailed instructions, but they might say something like, oh, I'm happy for you to play underneath me, or, oh, I'd prefer you to kind of stay out um, and just play in the gaps. They might even say, don't play until you're solo, in which case, fine, you've saved yourself a job and you're going to keep them happy. And most of all, you're keeping that communication going between band members, which is really crucial for building rapport and it helps musically as well. You kind of learn to understand each other 
better. So uh, I definitely say speak to the, the band members. I've actually had all looked all sorts of extremes, people asking for less and people sometimes asking for more. They, they're saying, oh no, go for it, you know, and they actually want quite a busy thing going on. So you want to err on the side of caution, but it's always worth asking. So there you go, that's my top five tips for playing with a singer in a band setting. I hope that this has been useful to you. Please put your comments beneath the video and I'd love it if you click like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. I put out new free videos every single week, so that's a great way of um, being informed of those if you click subscribe and click the little bell to get the notifications. And it really helps me to keep making these videos for you, so I'd really appreciate that support. Good luck with your practice. I'll see you again soon. Cheers.